Hey, what's up guys? It's Corey here with Dapper Dollars. And today we're gonna talk about whether or not these small caps are coming back and exactly what we can expect from this season's earnings. You ready? Let's get started. So this channel is all about using the online income opportunities like Merch by Amazon and Etsy to build our income online and then invest this income in things like the stock market and real estate. If that sounds like something you're interested in, like and subscribe and let's get started. So I'm back after vacation. It was an amazing time with my wife and with our unborn child. She is, my wife is doing great. Our baby is also doing great and we just can't wait to meet this little bundle of joy in November. But anyway, this is going to be an interesting earnings season as far as what we can expect from the stock market and whether or not we can see small caps actually make a comeback. Because right now what we've seen is that the larger caps in the NASDAQ are taking off. Amazon, Apple, Google, all of these stocks are going higher and higher and higher as the small caps that you know I'm particularly invested in, like Ametis, Vuzix, Hylion, Palantir, and things like that are all going lower and lower. Now, small caps are generally defined as things under $50 billion. And this is, I mean, Palantir is on the verge of that. However, Ametis and Vuzix and Hylion are certainly under that. Hylion might actually be considered a micro cap for the fact that it is, you know, almost pre-revenue. Hey, Metis also and Vuzix might also be considered a micro cap after their stocks have gone down so much. But what we can see right now, at least whenever I'm filming this on Tuesday of July 20th, is that all of these stocks are going up together after they have all crashed down together over the last two days. So what we can see here is there is a bit of a unification as far as which direction they're going in. And if you've known anything about these larger cap companies, <laughs> excuse me, I'm also getting over a cold. The larger cap companies take quite a bit of money to move forward a small percent because they are, you know, the trillionaire boys club. They are going to take a ton of money to even move 1%, whereas a fraction of that money can move these smaller caps even, you know, maybe 5 to 10% in one day. So what we can expect here is that the is if the trend of the larger cap companies and the smaller cap companies are moving together, we will see that these small caps will rise probably a lot quicker than the um, larger caps will rise. So what that means is that if Google, Amazon, or Apple goes up maybe 2% or maybe half a percent in one day, we can see jumps of 5 to 10% in these smaller cap companies because like I said, these smaller cap companies don't take near as much effort to move or near as much money to actually move those forward. And if we see a rotation out of these bigger stocks into these smaller stocks, that's when we're going to see a much bigger move in the future. So one of these stocks that I'm looking forward to particularly in this, um, the earnings and er, earnings reports that are coming out this season is American Airlines. I did a video that I'll link to here on why I'm switch or why I did a swing trade into American Airlines. And I think that we're going to see some pretty amazing information there as far as opening back up, people getting back used to travel and things generally looking up for the United States. Now, I know that there is the Delta variant of COVID that's going around right now. And with this information, it has caused a slump, especially at the beginning of this week. Monday, we saw the information of the Delta variant come out heavy. So a lot of the stocks took a dive, <clears throat> but we have seen a um, resurgence of these stocks, which shows that the overall public of America is definitely certain that we are not going to see massive shutdowns like we did in the past. And we might see a few masks pop up here and there in different states, but we're not going to see a massive lockdown like we did this time last year. So this is great. And these are great indications for the future of the stock market, particularly small caps that we're invested in here in this, um, in the uh, stock market account that I have here. And really what the determining factors are going to be in these earnings reports are is our companies like American Airlines, United, and the other travel companies seeing a boost in people traveling and whether it is international or domestic. Southwest is a great company to look at as far as domestic airlines because Southwest generally only flies within the borders of the United States. So that one is going to give us a great indication as far as are people traveling more or is travel staying about the same where people aren't really going anywhere? I think that we're going to see a boost in that for sure. Carnival Cruises is going to be one that is going to also give us a great indication as far as whether or not people are wanting to get out there and if they are pre-booking their cruises for the future. 
I think that there is going to be a massive amount of pre-booking that comes up, you know, scheduling their cruises maybe out into late 2021, early 2022 to really get into the swing of being fully open and back on the water as far as cruises go. And then there are going to be the industrials. Are people still buying steel? Are people buying, you know, um, the main one that I'm looking at is John Deere and Toro Motors. Toro, Mo Toro Motors and John Deere are the companies that usually are the peak leaders of the landscaping and yard maintenance uh, companies. And what they do as far as if they are up is going to be an indication of people getting out there and getting back into the swing of normal life because <clears throat> it is going to mean that people who are maintaining their own homes or people who are doing landscaping as a business are able to purchase more and they're able to service more people and provide what is considered a service because we've seen a lot from 2020 to 2021 that people are really investing more or were investing more in products but if we see that they're able to produce and turn more of a profit through John Deere and Toro and business like that, that people are willing to spend more on services because this is going to be a great indication that people are going to be rotating out of things like Amazon, Apple, and things like that because what they do is serve service products. Apple services a product, Amazon services products. Amazon technically can be considered a service because they are providing a website, but what on, what's on that website is products. So we want to see people trend away from products. That way there is a rotation out of these larger, bigger tech companies and more on services. So these are the things that I'm really going to be looking forward to for these earnings calls and also the um, hotel and um, not international travel, but the hotel and communication space, just to get an idea of whether or not people are booking trips within the United States and willing to move about, you know, not just on um, the airlines, because we're gonna see that in um, the Southwest Airlines for sure, but are people willing to actually stay in hotels? Because that is also going to be a great indication of whether or not people are fully open. It's one thing to take a plane trip somewhere, it is a whole other thing if you are willing to stay in a hotel, because this is a place where a bunch of people come share the same space and you know they constantly rotate in and out so if we see that these hotels are doing well we're going to get a very good indication of whether or not this country is opening back up and we're getting back to life as usual so anyway these are the things that i'm going to be looking forward to mostly that services are coming back buying products as going down or at least staying stagnant and this is going to be a great rotation hopefully for either the large caps to come down a little bit and increase the small caps quite a bit or just to see the large caps and small caps rise together so with all of this said i hope that you guys are having a great week i'm glad to be back from vacation i'm glad to uh be able to be here with you if you have any questions comments or concerns even you want to know about my vacation please give me a comment down below i would love to get to know you so anyway i hope you guys are having a great week and remember, someone is going to do something amazing every day, guys. Why not you? See ya.